I'm here with Dan Stevens from Legion on FX. Hey. Hi. What the heck? Let's what? talk about what this the season. Heck? There's okay. been so much going on. Yes. Uh, how much do you truly know about the plot of what's real and what's not? Well. I want to get right into it. Get right into it. I think that's the only way. I, I sort of want to say that I know a lot, but I mean, it's all real to me. And right. I think to David which is mm -hmm. kind of the same thing by now. Well, you've really gotten to portray David a lot recently because yeah. you got to sort of play every iteration of him in every reality, it seems. A good few, a yeah. A good few. Yeah. What was it like to sort of dive into those different areas? That was, it was awesome. I mean, you know, as an actor, first, it was just a great challenge to be, to be handed by your showrunner. Quite early in the season, he had that script laid out and was like, okay, we're going to do this almost kind of standalone episode where we just go and explore the multiverse and, and all these different avenues that David could have, could have taken. To deepen that relationship and to explore mm -hmm. that with all these different Davids was just really, it was really lovely and it was really fun to explore that with Katie and yeah, get yeah. to play a bit with her again. It, it was very sweet and also, I just heard about this very sweet moment where when you were wearing the homeless makeup, someone actually came up to you and gave you money, gave is that me right? A quarter. Yeah, yeah, and um, I was sweltering in the heat and I'd kind of just like crouched down and it was like 94 degrees oh. in downtown LA and, and yeah, this lady like stopped and gave me some change and it was, it was really sweet and I didn't really know what to say really. <laughs> I didn't want to shatter her illusion. Well, it wasn't an illusion, it was an illusion for me, but anyway, I didn't shatter it. Okay. But well, I, I hope you I paid it quarter. forward and put it in a yeah. and put it in a yeah. uh, what do you call it a meter? That I've needed been very it. generous since. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. You go. But um, no, it was a, that was a really really strange. You know, that particular reality mm -hmm. was very very strange. But um, I yeah. I, I kind of wonder because it's so different all the time. Yeah. Is it somewhat like doing repertory theater where you have the same cast all the time, but it's always something a little different? Kind of. I mean, it's it's. Fun. I was talking about this with with Aubrey recently about how how it's sort of shaping up and how we, how we collectively feel mm -hmm. about it. And you know, it could be a totally different show the next week, the next script you get along, you're like, oh, okay, now we're doing this. Well, and, and or it, you have a dance off. Right, exactly. And you know, when you've got people like Aubrey, like Bill mm -hmm. Irwin, you know, oh, really, gosh. really great physical, playful mm -hmm. comic actors, Jermaine Clement, you know, yeah. just an amazing team of people who are just up for the, the sort of weird sense of humor and playfulness of the yeah. show. It's really, it is a nice team to assemble. Well, and speaking of that dance-off that happened uh, at the beginning, who won the dance-off, the oh, psychic dance-off? Bill Irwin, clearly. I mean, <laughs> All day, every day? <laughs> it depends what you mean. I mean, it was cool to kind of use dance as a way of portraying like a psychic battle. And Legion, occasionally we, you know, we, we see some explosions and some mm -hmm. sort of regular death. Right. But Actually, or not regular death. No, yeah, some like some, weird, some sort of squishy, compacted, squishy death cops and things. <laughs> also, are you hoping for a full musical? <laughs> I mean, like we know you can music. sing. Well, Just I don't want to. No wanna, spoilers. No but. spoilers, but there there will be more music <gasps> in towards the end of the season. There's wow. definitely more music to come, and maybe some dancing. Definitely more music. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see that. Also, I notice on your Instagram that you post a lot of Legion art, not just fan art from fans, which is very cool, right. but also from the comics. Do you yeah. like to go kind of search back? They're, they're so fun. And mm -hmm. I, I just, you know, I find there's like certain frames which you take them out of context. Oh, they, they're great. They can suddenly sort of apply to our version of the show just mm -hmm. as much as any of them. And I've taken a great amount of inspiration just from like certain expressions or certain mm -hmm. attitudes in certain storylines. It's not so much you know the specific storyline but just something about the character comes through in those mm -hmm. in those drawings and I, I think it's really fun to kind of give a nod to them even though we're not you know directly portraying right. any of them and I know they've, they've got a new run of oh, yeah? Legion out which is mm -hmm. a little more tied in with what we're doing mm -hmm. but um, yeah I really love some of the, some of those um, you know some of those frames are great. So then do you have a favorite X-Men that's not David Holler? Ooh. Would it be The Beast? Haha, <laughs> nice one. I don't know. I um, in in sort of going back and looking at them, I really the one that keeps getting me is Bishop. I just oh, like yeah. I don't know. There's something about that character that just really is kind of like it's sort of painfully tragic and oh, brilliant. Yeah. And I don't know if he's and been given his time yet, but yeah, true. Um, it maybe is coming. But uh, and he had a great oh. mullet in the '90s. He did. Really yeah. good. Got to love a mullet. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I was talking with some, like 
because a, a number of fans come up and they're like, oh, is so-and-so mm -hmm. this character? Because obviously we're not directly saying right. that so-and-so is rogue or this or that, but there are elements borrowed from some mm -hmm. of these characters. And there's a bit of Bishop in Ptonomy oh, in Legion, yeah. I, I think. This is yeah. my own theory, <laughs> my own fan theory. Of my, we'll get no on the phone. But the idea the of like being the only person who yeah. remembers what it was like before and you know, while everyone else's reality is being warped, he's like the lone guy being like, mm -hmm. um, Guys, does anybody remember what's going on? Like, and just, I don't know, there's something kind of beautiful about that character that I like. Well, I like Legion very much. You guys should all go watch Legion on FX. Thanks so much for talking Thank with us. Thank you for having me. To see cool exclusives, behind the scenes hijinks, celebrity interviews, and more fun stuff with a healthy dose of Marvel fandom, tune in to Earth's Mightiest Show, releasing new episodes every week on Marvel.com, the Marvel YouTube channel, and across social media.